Hey, what's up? It's Hobart for Android University. Wanted to show you the brand new release from Liquid. This is Liquid Smooth, release candidate number 7, Jelly Bean, version 4.1.2 for the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Verizon. Brand new boot animation for Liquid Smooth. Wanted to show you that one real quick. And one cool thing about this is that it boots up so quickly that uh, within just seconds you're already on your home screen, just like I am right there. So um, that is what the new boot animation looks like. We'll uh, start off here with the lock screen. Uh, you can see as soon as my data starts up here, we'll be able to get the weather. Uh, but I do have weather enabled on here. You can enable your calendar on here, which I'll show you here in just a second. Let's refresh that and show you what it looks like. There it is. Um, so that's what it looks like uh, for your lock screen. Here's the home screen. I am using the Nova launcher. It does come with the stock launcher, which works just fine uh, from Team Liquid. But uh, this one's just a hair smoother and a hair more customizable. As you can see going through the screens here, it is just absolutely fast as can be. No hesitations, no lag, nothing. Going through the, uh, the app drawer here, look how fast this baby is. So I'm using the Nova Launcher. Uh, again, it does come with the stock uh, Team Liquid Launcher, which is just fine. Let's first go into the system settings. We're going to go down to About Phone and see what we're working with here. Android 4.1.2. Uh, we are running the KT747 kernel, custom kernel. It does come with the K-Tweaker application, so we can tweak our settings in our kernel. And we are in Liquid Jelly Bean version 2.0, release candidate number 7. Let's go up to the uh, settings menu. It looks like any other AOSP menu, except for a couple of additions. We've got the Liquid Splasher here. First, let's talk about our friends over at Team Liquid. Give them a shout out real quick. Liquid 0624, Liquid's Girl, uh, He Man Shoe, J D K O R Eclipse, uh, No Coast, Raymond FX, Toxic Thunder, and Dagrate. And of course, if I have mispronounced it, I apologize. I'll get it right next time. Um, but those are the Team Liquid developers that have put this wonderful ROM together. want to thank them for sure. And of course, you can uh, PayPal. You can donate to each one of them here as well. Uh, so that's going to be in your Liquid Splasher. Let's go to the interface here. These are some of the things you can tweak and customize. Your display, notification background. Got my carrier label set at Hobart. So when I pull my pull-down menu, I have Hobart. Uh, let's see here, volume key cursors, the kill all button, RAM, uh, the RAM recents bar, which you'll see if I click this here. Uh, the RAM bar is up top in my recents menu, which is pretty sweet. Got the kill all button, uh, IME switcher, hold back to kill, uh, LCD density, and the tablet UI. You can force tablet UI, it does require a reboot, but uh, this does have it here in Liquid. Let's go to the lock screen options here. You've got uh, the lock screen background. You can set a custom image here instead of having it be the default, which is on your home screen. The alignment, you clock alignment on your lock screen. I got it at right. Uh, your text color, battery status. I also enabled my weather here so I can have my weather forecast. And you can enable your calendar. You have screen security settings and some shortcuts as well. So that's going to be in your lock screen. Navigation here. you got your hardware keys. This is your nav bar. If you want to enable your nav bar keys here at the bottom of the screen, this will allow you to do it and customize the heck out of them with colors and options and everything. And that's your nav bar section. Power menu. This is going to be the menu that you get when you push the power button and hold it in like that right there. You can choose which options you want in it and which ones you don't. Um, let's go to the sound here. These are different sound settings, including what I like the most, the quiet hours, so I'm not getting emails and text messages and notifications in the middle of the night when I'm trying to sleep. Uh, but there are uh, a bunch of different options here in the sound section. Go to the toggle section here. Enable toggles. Which ones you want to display? And these are going to be the ones that are right up here on top. You can choose which ones you want, you can choose the order you want them in, and you can choose the layout as well. If you like it like this layout here, or if you like the layout that I currently am using, it's up to you. That one kind of looks like AOKP. Um, you can change the colors in it, of course. Brightness location, this is for your brightness slider. Uh, I've got mine on top, so you can see i got my brightness slider up top there. And that's going to be in your toggle section. Widgets. It'll give you uh, some different options for widgets. We got your status bar, uh, battery location, battery bar. If you haven't used the battery bar, look at the very top of my screen real quick. I'll enable it. 
boom, right up top above the time, you see the blue bar. That's your battery bar, and you can enable that or disable it. Choose different places for it, the thickness of it, the style of it, and the color of it. I also have charging animation, clock style, color. I got my AM, PM, and my day of the week in my center clock, as you can see there. All of this you can do, Wi-Fi text or, or signal color, uh, and your brightness control by sliding your finger across the screen, which is pretty sweet. Uh, so that's going to be in your status bar. Performance, USB fast charge. We'll click on that. That does not stick after reboot for a reason. When you're on fast charge, data will not be transferred, so you can't transfer any files. Um, so after reboot, you'll have to enable that if you want fast charge. All right. And then you got your uh, processor. Again, you're not going to use this much in this kernel because you have the K-Tweaks uh, application from the kernel maker that you use to actually tweak some of it, but you can from here. Um, but that's going to be the application that you want to use. And so, of course, startup options as well. So that's the Liquid splash, uh, Splasher. We'll go to the Theme Chooser, which you can download different themes and apply them here to Liquid. Uh, other than that, it looks like a pretty standard AOSP um, uh, settings menu. All right, so let's go to some of the uh, different things here on the ROM. We got Google Now, which is a jelly bean feature and does work very nice in uh, Liquid. And there they go. We got my uh, traffic to home, 11 minutes to home, no traffic. It's 45 degrees here in Harrisonburg, and yes, we are in Virginia, for those of you who have asked me before. Um, and, oh, of course, my clock widget. A lot of people ask about this one. It's not the one more clock widget that everybody's using right now. It's actually the Rings Digital Weather application uh, and it does give me the option to change different colors and have different options and sunrise and weather and all that good stuff and again that one I've been asked about it millions of times so I just tell people okay so that's what that is let's check GPS here real quick we're gonna go uh, earlier today I was outside and got a really good rating like 20 out of 23 first time trying it uh, I'm in the studio right now inside of a building so it might not be as good as it would be if I was outside but it definitely does work might just take a second for it to lock on. And they're slowly coming up. Uh, but like I said, I am inside of a building, and uh, it, oh, there they go, 7, 9, 11 out of 21. Just took a little bit longer. When you're outside, it, it locks on right away, so there's no words with GPS. Uh, as you see, I am on 4G, uh, so 4G is working. We'll go to Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is also working great, so there's no problems with switching back and forth between the two, or, or as far as I've seen with the 4G and 3G yet, so no problems with Wi-Fi there. Uh, camera. Camera works. I was actually outside taking pictures a little while ago. Camera works. Uh, video works as well. And does record in seven or 10, 20, 1080p. Uh, so you're still going to get great video quality and camera quality with this ROM, and everything's working on there as well. Um, I love this little widget here for my flashlight because it's instant. I've got it up in my notification bar, but I do like it uh, right there. Uh, other than that, everything is looking good so far. No problems, no bugs that I can find yet. Uh, it's smooth as can be. Everything works on it. Android 4.1.2. It is Jelly Bean AOSP. This is not TouchWiz. I'll put a link in the description for the uh, ROM download and the liquid gaps that you download uh, from their OP and their thread on XDA. All right. Hey, don't forget to check out some of my other ROM reviews. I've got a uh, Android University YouTube channel. Just type in Android University, all one word, or you can find the uh, link in my signature on XDA. I've also got a thread in the Galaxy S3 general section of XDA with all of my latest ROM review videos. All right. Well, that's it for me for today. My name is Hobart. Have a great rest of your day. Don't forget to flash this baby. It's an absolutely awesome ROM. Thanks again to all of the members of Team Liquid.